in 19, summer of 1988, um, uh, a complex of fires broke out in Yellowstone National Park. The fires actually consumed a huge amount of acreage and, and uh, profoundly affected the ecology of the park. Um, and still to this day, as you can see in the images, uh, the imprint of the fire uh, remains. The recovery is certainly going to take uh, decades, if, uh, if not centuries, to, to actually occur. Um, in these images, the, the vegetation, the healthy vegetation, is um, dark green. That's the sort of the sign of um, tall, healthy forest. And what you can see right after the fire is the very obvious fire scar. It's the dark reddish-brown color. So Landsat actually images uh, the Earth using a variety of spectral bands in different wavelengths. Uh, some of these wavelengths are not visible to the human eye, but are very useful for assessing the composition of the, the land surface. Uh, the near-infrared wavelength, for example, is sensitive to leaf area uh, because of the chlorophyll in leaves tends to reflect a lot of light in the near-infrared. The reflectance of the fire scars um, tends to be dominated by uh, the char that's left on the ground. The char, initially, um, uh, tends to be fairly bright in the shortwave infrared. So in this case, for example, uh, we've assigned the shortwave infrared band to the red, uh, we've assigned the near-infrared band to the green, and we've assigned the green band to the blue. Um, and that creates this what we call false color image. It's not exactly what your eye would see, but in this case it's quite convenient because the healthy vegetation shows up as green, and so we can sort of <clears throat> automatically interpret that. One thing that's interesting about the Yellowstone site is that um, it's a very hostile site for forests. It's high up, it has a short growing season, uh, it's quite dry, and, and this is probably one reason why the recovery in that area has been so slow. Uh, it's, it's almost an area that's not really suitable to be forest in the first place, uh, and so now it's, uh, it's having a hard time recovering from those fires that are so severe.